Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today we're going to do another of the Marilyn Monroe scrapbook tours. This is scrapbook volume 3, so we're still in the 90s, there may be the odd 50s article, or I know there's certainly one from the 80s in here. Um, so again, we've used the WH Smith photo album, with a lovely picture of Marilyn on the first page. It's just a habit I've got, I've had it since day one and I don't think that'll ever stop. Um, so here we are, these are, I think this was 1992, The Mystery Lives On, and this was about the reshowing of the extended version of uh, the documentary Marilyn, Say Goodbye to the President. There's a little bit here about French and Saunders who parodied Marilyn and Jane in Jump for Blondes, which was quite funny. This is an article from, I think it was from Just 17 magazine. This is photocopied because it was double-sided pages and I now if a magazine comes out which has got double-sided pages I buy two copies so that I can I don't have to photocopy it but occasionally if I buy um, a set of clippings uh, from someone else or somebody gives me a magazine I don't necessarily have two copies so I will then go to the library and photocopy it. Uh, luckily my library now has colour copying so I'll, I'll probably start copying in colour. So this one was in Just 17 back in, I think it was about 87, it was the 25th anniversary and it was a very lovely long article with some great photographs and at the end there's a picture of her grave as it was back then and then there's about how you can get the look and what influences she's had so here we are, we've got a lady named Vicky Scott who was a Marilyn like um, Tony Curtis, who never says anything nice, a bit about Diana Dawes, Madonna, Stephanie Lawrence, who was a musical theatre actress back in the 80s and 90s. She, she died a few years ago now, very sad, and as you'll see when I get to those scrapbooks, her obituaries, because I put all of those in. You'll notice I also did that for Joe DiMaggio, I've done it for Arthur Miller, and usually with, when anybody dies in the Marilyn world, um, there will be at least one obituary about them in the Marilyn scrapbook. Over here we've got Debbie Harry, we've got the British pop singer Marilyn, Jane Mansfield, a bit about La Laurence Olivier, and then Teresa Russell who played the actress in Insignificance. And then there's about how you can get the look yourself, uh, the hair, the base, the eyes and the lips. Um, personally, I don't think her hair looked very much like Marilyn's at all, but, you know, but that's just me. Then we're back to the 90s, um, then we've got the Superstars Legend show. This was um, a lookalike show, this probably came from the stage and Television Today newspaper. Um, and as you can see it's highlighted here, I don't know if you can but it is, yeah, as you can see it's just about this, it's highlighted. Because um, that's a bit about Lynn Shepherd, who was at the time a Marilyn lookalike. And she sang, Diamonds and Girls was Friend, I Want to Be Loved by You, among others. Uh, then there's the picture, there's a, a bit here about when um, the, about the re-release of the picture of her after the autopsy. Now that was first published in Anthony Summers' book back in 1985, but apparently it was re-released back in, 2000, in 1992. Then we've got Pauline Bailey, who's a Marilyn lookalike. Uh, very, very proactive back in the 1990s. And John Major lookalike, who was Prime Minister at the point. Then we've got um, TV Quick magazine. I do actually have a copy of the magazine as well. Um, and this one is about the film uh, Marilyn Something's Got to Give, which is the first documentary that was out about Something's Got to Give, which was a 45 to 50 minutes documentary that featured um, Susan Strasberg, it featured Evelyn Moriarty, it featured um, the producer of the film, it featured the two children, Alexandra Halwell and Christopher Morley. And, and it tells us a lot about the filming uh, of that of uncompleted film. Again, there's a bit here about right, it's just Holly Great Channel for Sunday. The legend lives on. Uh, 
because yeah, they, they did that and it, that, again that was the something sort of to give documentary. Um, Edwina Carey loves Marilyn Monroe. Who knew? <laughs> well, obviously I did because it's in the scrapbook, but uh, again, we're in 1992, it's August, or nearly August, it's the 30th anniversary of Marilyn's death, so there's a lot about Marilyn there, not as much as there was in 2002, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> not as much as there was in 1999 for some unfathomable reason, but you'll find that out when we get there, but there we go. And then we've got a uh, bestseller. This is a magazine from about books. Um, so she's on the cover, um, Who Killed Marilyn Monroe? And it's about the different, mostly conspiracy theory books, but we'll have a look. So there's a picture of her from the Golden Globes in 1962. And it features The Last Take, among other books. And it does list them, um, because The Last Take was one of those big books come out. And then there was the fiction book, Cook, uh, Queen of Desire, Susan Strasberg's book came out, Marilyn and May, Sisters, Rivals, Friends. So it's a little bit of an overview of those three books. Um, and a little bit about Gloria Steinem's book, Marilyn's, when they produced the paperback edition that didn't have the all the fantastic George Barris photographs in it. On this page we have Marilyn and You Look at the Legend. This was from the Daily Mirror, if I remember correctly. And this is... Again, I think about the Gloria Steinem book. Yeah, Gloria Steinem. Um, they reissued it um, in a normal uh, tr uh, uh, mass market paperback sized book with um, George Barris photos still in it and on the cover, but it didn't, it wasn't the beautiful photo book that came out in the 80s with all the fantastic George Barris photographs, which we will do an overview of um, that George Barris book and his other George, the other book by George Barris at some point, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be doing overviews of all the photo books in my Marilyn collection at some point, <laughs> just because I love looking at them. So as you can see, um, when you get a double spread article or a big article, I, I chop it up to make it fit the pages so I get all the information in. Um, this is about the, there was a TV programme that was about an hour long, I think it was called um, Encounters Madame Monton and Mrs Miller and of course it was about the making of Let's Make Love and the relationship between uh, Simone Signore and Marilyn Monroe and the, and the affair with Yves Montand. Um, it was interesting, the, the actress, Deborah Sandlin, she wasn't that bad, she wasn't brilliant, but she wasn't bad. Um, and it was interesting, it was interesting. And then a little bit more about this, and there's a picture of Marilyn with the uh, Montand and Signore, and then a picture of the two actresses together. A bit more about Hollywood greats um, and some various pictures. Again, this is a review of uh, Marilyn and, and uh, oh gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me, Marilyn and uh, Signor Rey. And there's the, some information about it. And then this is about a bit of a review. And then some little articles like Marilyn Goes Back about looking into her death again, and again, cops new clues in Marilyn murder. There's an old eye roll going on here, but you won't be able to see it. Um, more conspiracy theory stuff, JFK blew out candle in the wind, apparently. JFK killed Marilyn, who knew? Um, a lot of people say they do, apparently, but I'm not gonna go into that because that's just not what my love for Marilyn's about. Um, then there's a little bit about uh, Sharon Stone here was, uh, I'll just zoom that in a little bit so you can see it, was apparently slated to play Marilyn in a film version of a book, but it doesn't say which book. Um, anyway, whatever happened is the film never got made, so it doesn't really matter, so let's zoom out. Again, this is about lookalikes and plays about about them so 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 that it's uh, got Marilyn and, and, and Jackie Kennedy in it another Marilyn looking like eye roll sort of that's all I can say because some some lookalikes are absolutely fantastic and I will tell you if I think they're fantastic and some of them are just horrendous 
But I think most of them do it because they love Marilyn. They're not doing it because of the money, although the money for Leclerc is good. Um, they do it because they love Marilyn, and, and so you've got to get, I mean, and now, oh, I used to hate lookalikes. Not all of them, but some of them, I just used to hate them. Um, I couldn't see the point of them, but as I've grown older, I can, and I know I've made friends with a lookalike or two. I, I am quite, I've got a couple of lookalikes amongst my friends, and what I, what does come across with, with them all is their overwhelming love for Marilyn. They're protective of her. They want to um, promote her as um, a good... I, a, a good, a good um, image and inspiration to people. So now I'm a lot more nicer than you. Look, but, so I do admit that I was, but I was a teenager and I was a kid and immature basically. Um, so this was from 1987 film review. Uh, this is to re, to win a copy of uh, five of the videos that were out at the time. And then there's this one about this uh, terrible woman who. I say terrible, but I don't know. She is a woman who wanted to be a Marilyn lookalike or famous. And she ran away to Spain, leaving her child at home alone. I don't know how old her daughter was. Eleven. And I think, I don't know what happened to her after. I, I, I just popped it in because she had the old Marilyn thing trying to go on. I say trying. But... She left uh, her daughter alone, and I, I think that was awful. So, anyway. This next article, The Present and the Showgirl, is about the fictional book by uh, Michael Corder, The Immortals. I do have a paperback on it. It's really hard going. It's all full of conspiracy theories and nonsense. Oh, I just need a drink there. Um, but, of course... The article makes it into a scrapbook because we put everything in here now. We don't, I don't shirk if it's if it's nasty about her. It's, I think it's important to um, know your enemy, know what your enemy's saying, even though you carry on and we, we just keep loving her no matter what. On the next page we have Pauline Bailey wearing Marilyn's bus stop, bus stop top because it was put up for sale. Um, I've probably got how much it sold for somewhere, but I don't know. This is when we started dating everything. So this was from the Daily Mirror on the 12th of March, 93. Um, 4th of March, 93, Death Riddle of Marilyn's Diary. Again, this is um, about a video documentary called Marilyn Portrait of the Legend. And it brings up the affairs, alleged affairs with Kennedy, um, both Kennedys and so on. Um, and her alleged marriage with a man named Robert Slater, which has now been completely disproved and debunked so there you go then we have a picture of a guy named Ennio Marchetto who dressed up it's hard to explain what he did but it, it was like pa he'd use paper to strip off with and he would dance and, and mime and it, very odd I had seen him on I think it was Michael Barrymore's show um, doing one of it and I thought it was very bizarre but fascinating to watch the next article is from the Daily Mail um, on the 29th of March, 93, and this is extracts from the Donald Spoto book, Marilyn Monroe, The Biography, um, which went on for, week, uh, for a week. I don't have all the articles in here. I do have all the pages, um, but I didn't get them at the time that the, the book was published and the extracts were published, but I got them later on in, in scrapbooks uh, collections. And, and clippings collections, which is something I am proactively always searching for on eBay. I love my clippings. So again, this is all, these two pages, all still about the Donald's photo book. And this is the, about the, um, the allegation he made that she was gonna remarry Joe DiMaggio on the Wednesday after her death. Still about this, it's about Marilyn and Jean Harlow. And then at the bottom of this page, we have uh, a bra worn by Marilyn, something like it hot, sold for £9,600. A new movie about Marilyn, that was about, that was the terrible movie, uh, Marilyn and Bobby, her final affair. Awful movie, but there we go. 30 Year Itch, this is about um, some of the photographs of Andre de Dienes, who photographed Marilyn at the early stage of her career. 
and we've got two wonderful books by Andre, and that is um, Marin Mon Amour, which came out in the 80s, and then the Mathematician book, which is, oh, fantastic. Um, but this was a story that he, after her death, threw a lot of her pictures and negatives into a box and buried them in his back garden. And this is about them being, um, he, he dug them up and now they're being restored and they were going to be published and they were supposed to be published in a book called Marilyn by Norma Jean or Monroe by Norma Jean but it never, that book never came out. It was announced but it never came out. That happens a lot in this world. But we don't mind because we've got loads of books. Over here we've got uh, Truth is a Girl's Best Friend which is about the Spoto book. Marilyn's uh, a gas. This is about her doing the Royal Triton or the Triton Oil commercial. Yeah, Royal Triton Oil. Um, which is odd because any Marilyn fan would already know that. I mean, obviously normal people maybe wouldn't, but anybody else would. And they would obviously have that in there. It's, it's in all the documentaries. It's, it, it's in Remembering Marilyn, which was the first documentary I ever saw back in the early 90s. So it was there. It, it's been a bit around for people to see for ages. So to us, it's like, yeah, and... <laughs> And then over here we've got a bit about uh, Anna Nicole Smith. I think this is the first time I, I found anything on Anna Nicole. Um, it's about Anna dressed in the white dress. So, a yeah, very nice picture of her, I think. Again, Anna Nicole was one of those people I sort of... I liked, but I didn't like. I liked her in a sense because of her, uh, um, her love for Marilyn and, and that, but I, I wanted her desperately to be herself because I thought she could be so brilliant and she was always trying to be somebody else and I thought that was quite sad because, I mean, but the Marilyn was always somebody else. She was Norma Jean and she was trying to be Marilyn, but it was her character, whereas Anna Nicole was trying to take the Marilyn character and make it her own. And she was, in some of her films, she was very, very funny. So there's more about Anna Nicole later. Anyway, we we got more Anna Nicole stuff to come up. So on here we've got Hollywood Brings Marilyn's Book. This is about Bernard of Hollywood's book, brought out by his daughter Susan. And these are just little bits that have turned up in various places. Again, this is about the Bernard of Hollywood book. Um, this is Jason uh, uh, Priestley here, with a little girl dressed up as Marilyn. Um, now, there was a reason for this. He was... Um, Uh, judging or part of a Marilyn lookalike contest and the reason for that was because he was making a film called Calendar Girl in which three friends travel from their home small hometown to Los Angeles to California to meet Marilyn um, and this was part of the publicity for that film. I love that film actually it's a really sweet little film and there's clips of the real Marilyn as well and you never actually see the girl playing Marilyn's face, you hear her voice, you see her in silhouette and in shadows and this is done very nicely. Um, this article Gone With The Wind is about theft from the storage unit where the Strasbourg's kept Marilyn's possession and saying that Marilyn's dress was stolen among, let's have a look else they said it was also uh, the the present Kennedy dress was stolen as well, but uh, that wasn't. <laughs> so I just wonder what that was for, why that happened. Then there's a bit more about something's got to give done there. Then there's a little review of uh, the rise and fall of uh, Little Voice, which is uh, where Jane Horrocks came to the fore playing playing Little Voice. <laughs> Now this is from the 1980s, this was from Book and Magazine Collector, March 1988. Um, and it shows you some of the books that you should have. Uh, so for instance, you've got Monroe by James Spada, George Zeno there one, and The Man of Story, and so on. And it gives you the values at the time. And one more, which we just mentioned. Here's a list of some of the collectible books, there's not that many on there. Have a look at them. The only one I don't have an original copy of, I think, is The Man of a Story by Joe Franklin because it's so expensive. Let's have a look. 
I haven't got the Sydney Scholarly Story in my armor either, which was a magazine rather than a book. But the rest of them I've got. So that's that. This video is getting long, it's over 20 minutes already, so let's have a look. So this is about blonde on top and below, and this is about her allegedly uh, bleaching her pubic hair. Picture of Jane Horrocks' little voice, um, various look like pictures. Nice picture of Marilyn when she was young. This is again from the 1980s book scene, about books that come out uh, that year. So we've got Andrew Dianis' Marilyn Mon Amour, Life of the Actress by Carl Wilson Jr., Marilyn by John Coble, and Marilyn Among Friends by uh, Sam Shaw and Norman Russon. Again, we've got Anna Nicole Smith, uh, Blonde Ambition. Uh, this was about a documentary called Hollywood Women, uh, Playmate Hopes to be the next Monroe. Reprint of the Daily Mirror cover from 19... 62. This is a lookalike that called herself Lorelei Lee. I don't know what her real name was because I've only ever seen her listed as Lorelei Lee. I thought she looks like a duck. <laughs> Not in this picture, there's quite a good picture for her actually. But there was um, an article in a thing called The Weekly News and she looked like a duck. And she was making all sorts of horrible allegations at that point, so we won't go into that. But there you go. Anna Cole Smith again. I think she'd turn up a few times, didn't I? This is Snap Up a Memory of Monroe. This is the Bernard of Hollywood book. This is a little bit about various programmes and films that have been on. The next one is I'm Marilyn's Secret Six Sister, which is, of course, about the lovely Bernice Miracle, and uh, who was Marilyn's half-sister. This is when her book was published, which is nice. It's a lovely book. Um, Weekly World News. Do I need to say more? So then there's more bits, just little bits and pieces. Uh, Marilyn stamps. Anna Nicole again, this time haunted by the ghost of Marilyn. This is when she lived in Marilyn's house actually. Um, there we go. Uh, one of the collector's plates that came out in the early 90s, Girl Next Door by the Hamilton Collection. I never did get that series. This is the first mention of Hugh Hefner, who recently passed away, by in the crypt next to Marilyn Monroe. He's now been interred next to her as well. And about the fact that he wanted to be and bought the crypt next to her. There we go. Next is another one about Jane Horrocks, who played a character in a very strange mini uh, TV film. I can't recall, I can't think of what it was called. It doesn't say, um, but anyway, it was about these uh, survivors of a plane crash and they all took on the persona of a film star and she decided she was going to be Marilyn. So there we go. And uh, there we are, here it is again. Uh, I might say it on here. Self-catering. They become cannibals, I believe. And start eating each other. There we go. Um, then we have the start of the National Lottery. So it's 93. So it's the Lottery is a girl's return, says Marilyn. Okay, and then again there's more about uh, Jane Horrocks playing that character in uh, that programme. And at the end we've got a picture from a travel brochure, Hollywood, um, the Walk of Fame, one of the hotels, and of course a little Marilyn in the corner, Marilyn look like in the corner. So that is book three. Yay, we made it. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through of the Marilyn scrapbook. We will come back and do book four really shortly. I'll see you soon. Bye.